evening dear students welcome to this enriching session from super grads by top rankers my name is rita gurbani and i am your varc expert and today in this session i am going to share with you some interesting tips tricks and techniques of vocabulary now why is vocabulary so important dear students everyone talks about vocabulary the answer lies in the pattern yes because the questions which appear in cat you might have had an idea there are reading comprehensions there are para jumbles there are para summary questions then there are para completion questions you know all these questions involve a huge repertoire of vocabulary and the domains from which these questions are asked are varied and numerous you name it and cat has it the questions which are selected can be from different domains such as political science astronomy uh science and technology arts and literature current affairs geography biology history psychology sociology physiology you name it and cat has it yes so it is important that you have a very good grip on the vocabulary right because there are such questions as i already said then there comes sentence correction there are in some exams of omets there are some questions which involve a typically incorrect portion which is to be corrected so unless you know the vocabulary unless you have a grip on vocabulary you won't be able to understand the nuances which are employed there and coming to critical reasoning critical reasoning means evaluating ideas analyzing ideas and coming to the accurate answers leading us to correct answers that is very very important and a slight change in the meaning changes the entire context so the contextual meaning is to be understood dear students i'll give you an example how the vocabulary plays game with us and when we are in a hurry to answer the questions of course the time which is given is very small it is too short for any student and the time plays a major game in this exam so in a panic situation what happens to the student the student just looks at a word and he misconstrues the answer or the meaning or the connotation and he marks the wrong answer how does it happen look at this i am writing here three words generally the pronunciation is the same and there is a very slight change in the meaning the first word sore sore relates to pain or a suffering suppose i say i have a sore throat that means my throat has discomfort my throat is in pain i have a sore throat or my foot had a sore so i was not able to walk okay sar this has a little bit different pronunciation sar means acidic lemons are sar lemons are sour in taste okay comes next comes sore sore is to rise higher eagles are soaring in the sky eagles are soaring in the sky or keep soaring higher so what happens just in a small flick in a fraction of a second if your attention wavers then you miss understand the question and the option and then what happens you mark the wrong option so this is the game the vocabulary plays then there are words which are confusing as i said which are often confused then even after the selection happens if you qualify the written exam dear students you have to take care of interviews personal interviews then you have to participate in group discussions and you also have to write the essays writing ability tests are also conducted so therein an effective vocabulary helps you express your ideas beautifully correctly and comprehensively so when you have vocabulary you are able to express yourself your thoughts your ideas your feelings your attitude whatever comes to your mind you are able to present it in such a manner which becomes comprehensive and easily understood by the audience or by the people who are in front of you so you are able to express yourself clearly and to the best of your capability owing to the 
vocabulary control or the vocabulary grip you have right so that is why it is said that vocabulary plays a very important role and now dear students i would like you to see the some of the words which appeared in the previous year question papers this is not to scare you this is just to give you a glimpse an idea of the type of words you know they can be unfamiliar at times they can be difficult at times so what would you do right so just have a look at these words proclivity a natural inclination or tendency to do something especially something undesirable something negative right his proclivity to procrastination hindered his progress i have used it in a sentence his proclivity to procrastination procrastination is to delay procrastination is to delay things or events unnecessarily or intentionally okay so it hindered his pro 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 productivity or progress next alibi alibi look at the pronunciation an excuse used by a person who is suspected of a crime what is the meaning of alibi the defendant says that at the time of the crime he was not present at that moment he was at some other place okay so in this way he is able to defend himself then neither neither refers to the point directly below an observer opposite the zenith just as zenith is the topmost point similarly neither is the lower most point and this word is generally used in navigation and astronomy navigation and astronomy you can relate it with a hindi phrase also arsh and farsh if you have heard of it arsh is your zenith and farsh is your nadir another word for nadir is abyss the lower most okay point is the nadir now an interesting word placebo please make uh, the pronunciation clear in your minds eye in your ears placebo a substance or a treatment that has no therapeutic effect but still it is considered to be you know of some uh, importance i'll just give you an example a very interesting anecdote once there was a lady who went along with her husband to a movie theater and suddenly in the midst of the movie she felt a sudden you know headache and then there was nobody there was nothing they could do about it and uh, by chance the husband met or he came across a doctor friend who was also sitting in one of the rows inside the movie theater the husband spoke to the doctor and the doctor gave a medicine and he said that it is to be kept inside the mouth she has to just roll it around through the tongue here and there she does not have to chew it and then it's strange that her headache vanished and what was that medicine dear students you will be amazed to know you will be amused to know also that this medicine was nothing but a button yes you heard right it was a button but the perception that this doctor has given the suggestion was so strong that the woman thought that she is getting relieved okay that her headache is getting removed or she is getting cured of that so this is the placebo effect right then look at this word antiquarianism antiquarianism is a study or collection of ancient objects or artifacts or historical relics now you can also understand this word through this antique you might have heard of antique items right antique items so the items or the things are of coming from an older generation or an older era an ancient era and there are some people who like to hoard these there are there are some people who like to make a collection so such a person has a love for antiquarianism right such a person is fond of collecting these articles so in this way you find that there are different kinds of words which appear in these exams so it makes sense for us dear students to have a good grip on vocabulary and the domains from which these come are also varied as i already mentioned so what is the solution see if there is a problem there has to be a solution so now let us see let us delve into the techniques which can help us in learning the vocabulary now by learning i do not mean cramming i don't want you to just sit for hours and hours together and learn the word meanings no you have to apply some techniques you have to apply some tricks which are logical 
okay and which have an everlasting effect it's not as if that you write the exam and you forget everything no it should be with you the words actually are to be made your friends right it is said that every word is a stroke of genius so these words are to be made our friends they are never to be left alone now what is the trick to make them come closer to us or how we can get closer to the words so the first technique is called prs technique or prefix root suffix technique in this what happens there is a root word now i would like to inform you dear students that english has borrowed many 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 words from different languages such as greek latin french sanskrit yes you heard me right even from sanskrit many words have been taken into the english language every year there is a list of words which is added on to the english dictionary so what happens since many words have been taken from greek and latin languages so from these new words have been made and the word which is added in front of that word is called a prefix pre means pehle and the word which is added at the back part or behind the main word the root word is called the suffix in hindi you might have done pratyay isn't it upsarg and pratyay you might have done you can recall you might you might have done it before now look at this word disagreement now dis means opposite or no or the absence okay and meant is nothing but the state of or the process state of or process of and agree you know to have agreement means to have cordiality of ideas so disagreement right disagreement so you have a root word you have a prefix and you have a suffix look at this word unhappily here un is the prefix which means no or not and happy is the root word and ly actually is a suffix which also means a state of it means a state of so what happens here unhappily the word is unhappily then comes this one example transportation port now let us analyze let us break port is to carry trans is across okay and asian is again the state of or the quality of state of or the quality of so that makes transportation that makes the word transportation you can have unprofessionalism you can irresist you can have irresistible okay so in this way you can have so many different words at your disposal so what you need to do is you start observing things around yourselves start making logical connections and then you will find that there are so many different root words if you command those root words then you are able to have a hold on a lot of vocabulary dear students and by and by as you will read as you will be more and more observant you will be amazed to find a difference a change in your own attitude that you are able to understand them you are able to analyze their meaning and you are also able to understand their contextual meaning so this is one of the techniques next comes a flash card a flash card is nothing but a small card which you should make of your own my suggestion is you take some uh, pieces of paper but the paper should hold you okay i mean it should not be a very thin slippery kind of a paper it should be a little strong a little thick paper on which you write a particular word right you have written the word and you then you write its meaning you also write its synonyms and antonyms and its sentence then what happens you know you are able to analyze the whole word effectively take for example the word imperious imperious means arrogantly domineering or overbearing so what are the synonyms authoritative this is authoritative haughty and what are the antonym what is a synonym synonym is a word with similar meaning antonym is a word with opposite meaning so synonym is authoritative haughty antonym is humble and modest so you have seen the word you have seen its meaning you have written its synonym you have written its antonym and the sentence her imperious manner made it challenging for others to voice their opinions during the 
meeting her imperious manner was how was her manner her manner her manner was dominating domineering not allowing others to speak or express their ideas so they were not able to voice their opinions during the meeting so here what happens that this flash card on one flash card you have to write only one word and my suggestion is preferably you use different color pens right and that should be uniform okay for example if you are using the color blue for the main word whose meaning you want to retain or you want to remember right so you use the color blue then for the meaning for example you can use the color green for synonym you can use another color for example brown so on and so forth you can use the colors of your choice and keep it uniform what i mean to say is for whatever words you prepare uh, for flash cards you use the same color scheme so that will you know uh, give an um, an understanding to the eyes to the brains at once when you spot it now what is the time to read those flash cards you have to fix a particular time in your routine either in the morning or in the evening or in the afternoon okay at least three slots you have to keep ready in a day of 15 minutes each right at that time what you have to do you have to glance through these flash cards again and again for example in a day you have seen a uh, 10 uh, no, words okay at repeated intervals so that helps you aid in the memory in the retention right that is why i said that prepare a flash card in such a way that it is very very eye catchy use different colors okay so that at once you look at it you are able to understand this is a word this is a meaning this is the antonym this is a synonym and this is the sentence so that will help you remember and whenever you come across such a word you are at once able to understand it completely and correctly right next very interesting technique of remembering words is mnemonics mnemonics you must have done in your lower classes dear students who can forget the most uh, loved or the most remembered mnemonic of vibgyor do you remember vibgyor you had done in science somewhere in class 6th or 7th where v stood for violet i is indigo b is blue g is green y is yellow o is orange r is red in this way you remember all the seven colors in the particular order i give i'll give you one example see i spoke about the words which are confusing for example you have taken these two words you always get confused okay desert and desert the first one means an area which is full of sand a huge area desert which is full of sand which has hardly any vegetation the other second word is is actually a sweet dish which you have after generally after the meals it can be a gulab jamun it can be a piece of ice cream it can be a cube of uh, it can be a, a bowl of gajar halwa okay according to your choice so now what happens how you can remember this is that desert is full of sand so it has only one s it has single s in this spelling it there is only one s and desert desert is full of sweet stuff i told you it is something sweet so sweet so there are two s right so here you can say double or two s right two s so in this way you can remember so this is your own mnemonic you have prepared right and you have to connect it yourself you have to remember it in your own manner even if that means that you write some hindi word or some other word of your language of your choice which makes it easy for you to understand and remember please go ahead you can do that easily without any harm right take the other example hermetic hermetic it means isolated or away from outside influence now how you can how can you remember you have you must have done this word hermit somewhere earlier hermit means a person who is a recluse sadhu sant in hindi you can call him who does not want to live in society who wants to live all alone because he wants to pray to god and be united he has to have a communion with the almighty right so what kind of a place he would require he would like to have a secluded isolated place where there is no disturbance isn't it so hermit is a person who who wants to you know live away from the impacts of the society or the human beings simply because he has to pray to god he has to worship and he has to make a communion with the almighty so hermetic similarly this hermetic is how can you remember you can you can correlate hermetic with hermit 
that hermetic means isolated aloof and away from outside influence for example i need a hermetic space or a hermetic room because now i want to relax or maybe i want to prepare for my cat exam so i need a hermetic space so this way you become you know aware you you will never forget because you have made your own understanding your own logical connection come to the third word sadistic which is inclined to cruelty it is said that a sadistic is a person who gets happiness in inflicting injury inflicting unhappiness or inflicting torture on somebody else this is a literal meaning okay so what you have to do here is dear students you have to imagine you have to visualize you know the visualization plays a major role in such uh, techniques and tricks what do you have to visualize that this person who is a sadistic has a stick in his hand okay how i have uh, made this from the stick has come this stick stick thadi or lakdi and he loves beating them he loves hitting the other people he beats them he hits them etc and then he is happy he is happy in beating the others right so in this way you get the connotation that he has a stick he beats the others and he is happy so by inflicting uh, cruelty to others he becomes happy so he is a sadistic he is a sadistic person these are some of the examples dear students but my suggestion would be that you prepare your own examples your own tricks which will last with you always and always try to have such an association you know the entire game is about logical association here you can make it a little um exaggerated you can make it funny you can make it humorous okay because that makes it everlasting in your memory that sticks with you something which is weird something which is very different from the common place things makes it all the more relevant and all the more memorable because this is human psychology we are you know minds work on this something which is exaggerated something which is comical or humorous we love to you know remember those things always right so this is one of the techniques which should be used now there is one more trick my dear students you come across so many different people in your life and there are certain celebrities which must be your ideals right you all look up to we all look up to somebody or the other in our lives and we want to be like them we have you know uh, emulated their qualities we want we want to emulate their qualities you know we are we we become so uh, enamored of their qualities that we wish that whatever qualities they have should also be ingrained in us right so you can take any example here i have taken the example of uh, the famous uh, the iconic cricketer mr virat kohli you might have seen him on the ground and uh, you might have also you know read about him about his uh, tactics about his uh, strategies okay about his leadership qualities etc etc okay so i have you know this is just an example to show that if you take one personality of your choice of your um, um, i should say understanding about your you know affinity and then try thinking try giving it various names right the, the various facets of the personality you try to name so what will happen let us see for example take the first uh, um, sentence he excels i am talking about mr virat kohli right he excels in various aspects of the game from batting to fielding so what is this quality called what can be called he is a protean he is a protean right second sentence his personality shines through in his cheerful demeanor demeanor and playful on field tactics i repeat his personality shines through his cheerful demeanor demeanor means his conduct you know his um, uh, outward or you can say his nature demeanor the one with which he conducts himself so here you can write what is what kind of personality what kind of trait is this so he is effervescent okay effervescent means he is able to have cheerful uh, do, do, uh, um, exterior and playful tactics he makes fun also on the ground so this is one uh, adjective which i have given okay his nature enables to read the game and make strategic decisions effectively he makes strategy and those decisions are always effective so you can use the word perspicacious pronounce it correctly perspicacious is the word which can be used for this trait of his personality take the next example his dash this is a fill in the blank his dash on the field often lifts spirits 
of his team and fans so what he does the way he behaves there so what are those that he does there what is that what is that in his personality that is his exuberance this is his exuberance you know which lifts the spirits of his team and fans the teammates as well as the fans the viewers the audience the spectators who are there in the field next his dash talent is reflected in his ability to adapt to different formats and conditions different formats and conditions he is able to adapt to so what word can be used here multifaceted the word which comes to my mind is multi faceted multi and faceted so in this way what i have done dear students i have taken one personality an eminent person an eminent cricketer of our times and i have tried to give him you know through his behavior through the ways he conducts himself and i have tried to give one particular adjective and in this way what has happened i built the vocabulary through the example of a celebrity through the example of a personality you can take any example of your choice of your uh, uh, according to your understanding and then you can prepare but you need to you know put this down on paper and you can recall and revise okay now we cannot afford to lose sight of foreign words dear students some of the foreign words which have been taken from the other languages they have not been changed into english okay but they remain as it is but they are used extensively in our english communication also right take for example bourgeoisie the middle class okay the pronunciation is written here look at the spelling b o u r g e o i s i e bourgeoisie this is the middle classes the next is a proper a proper means to the point then comes volt fast volt fast is a complete change in conduct or policy the volt fast of the politician left everybody surprised i repeat the volt fast comment of the politician left everybody surprised that means his complete change in the conduct or in the policy left everyone speechless and surprised now look at this word mele this is a confused fight a muddle this is pronounced in this way mele so what does it mean it is a confused fight or a muddle where everything is you know in a helter skelter state complete hodgepodge okay then this is for pa this is pronounced as for pa means a blunder okay uh, take for example a sentence her for pa in the party put everyone into splits of laughter she made such a comment in the party you know which was actually a faux pas which was a blunder which was a big mistake and everybody was left in peals of laughter so in this way you have different foreign words also which you should have a command on and you should understand the meanings also because they generally appear in the questions which are asked in cat and other management exams now what are the sources and the resources my dear students it is very 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 important for a cat aspirant to read if he reads he will have the ideas right see you can have a good vocabulary you can come from a good uh, english speaking background or some good english school right you can speak well but unless you have the ideas you have no content right you cannot express them fluently so it is important that you read you know you nurture yourself with great ideas with good ideas from important sources and resources the chief among them being the books and some newspapers for example word power made easy this is a bible for the students i have read it i have worked on it the people who were there before me worked on it you will work on it and the people who will come after you will also work on it yes this is such a descriptive book it works like you know it uh, it works generally on the techniques of this uh, prs uh, prefix root suffix technique that we discussed just now and it gives you enough number of exercises to have a great uh, command on the vocabulary okay so you do those exercises maybe in a day you can do one or two exercises it has 47 chapters and you can complete them in 25 to 27 days right then next comes this book six weeks to words of power by wilfred funk this also you know it acts like a workbook and it gives you enough practice it gives you enough rigorous practice to understand the words in context their meanings 
you know their sentences and how they are to be used it gives you enough number of tests also so that you can actually you know uh, understand what is the actual meaning and they remain with you the words remain with you next comes is vocabulary vortex which is actually a production of super grads top rankers which is a wonderful book it carries all kinds of uh, uh, questions which are related to one word substitution which are related to the error in the construction of sentences fill in the blanks tick the correct option close test synonyms antonyms words confused what not everything is covered in this book which is a publication of our um, uh, institute okay then newspapers newspaper reading is a must you cannot afford to stop reading it can be any you know manner either it can be the uh, you can read online or uh, you can uh, read in the hard copy but you read and every day at least 45 to 50 minutes of reading pure reading is to be done right so the newspapers which you have to consider are the hindu or uh, you know then uh, uh, then you have aeon essays very importantly aeon essays are a must for a cat aspirant they also cover ideas from all sorts of domains as i already spoke about and sometimes the passages do you know uh, are extracted from these essays also so it does do you a world of good if you practice daily from aeon essays then this merriam webster app this is a free vocabulary app which you can you know always uh, refer to because it gives you extensive and intensive information on vocabulary building so dear students now what you do is you know you have uh, taken a uh, 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 you can say in a nutshell i have tried to explain to you what are the methods what are the ways by which you read right whenever you have a word or whenever you sit for vocabulary building you write down the word in your notebook and the notebook should be a separate one it should not happen that today you are writing in this notebook tomorrow in that and in one notebook you have made a you know a jumble of different kinds of subjects no a workbook or a notebook exclusively for vocabulary should be maintained then in you write the word then you read the spelling okay then you pronounce it okay and then you close the eye and then you try to read that book in uh, read that word in the mind's eye right try to figure out the meaning already you have done all these exercises okay so what happens when you read and when you pronounce and then when you use them in your active vocabulary the word becomes your own you have a mastery on that word and it never leaves you so my dear students keep learning keep growing because this is the opportune time you should start preparing you should start you know with the building blocks of your examination and then you will land a covetous position which you have aimed for yourself and do let us know what are the other topics wherein you want us to prepare lectures prepare extensive videos and wherever you face difficulties wherever you face that this particular topic is beyond my grip or i really i'm uncomfortable i want some more practice i want some more clarification you can specifically put your comments and do like share and subscribe and please leave your valuable comments because it gives us a road map you know how and what are the needs of the student community so that we can cater to those needs because dear students here at super grads by top rankers we want that no student should be left alone in his pursuit of knowledge in his pursuit of his aim which he has you know the road map the um, uh, the the plan which he has made for himself we want him or her to reach that okay and we are there our full support is there with you so keep connected always all the best happy learning more power to you bye bye